In the 1920s, London, like many major cities, was growing rapidly. And so was its need for electricity. This sparked an historic proposal for a new generating facility, big enough to supply the whole of central and west London, a coal-burning power station in the heart of the capital, in Battersea. Construction began on the first phase in the early 1930s, and by 1957, the power station was complete, boasting cutting-edge technology and hailed as an architectural triumph. The Daily Herald called it a flaming altar of the modern temple of power. Elaborate step brickwork and Doric fluted chimneys soared high into the air, cementing the building's place in the London skyline. Carved bronze figures representing energy and power stood watch on the doors, which opened to reveal a luxurious interior, from pristine parquet flooring to intricate bronze ceiling scrollwork. At its peak, it produced nearly one-fifth of London's power, roughly half the output of a modern nuclear power plant. But after 50 years of active service, Battersea finally closed. Its smoke receded and its chimneys stood idle. 